Hi guys. Um, I hope that you can hear me. The, the fan is on. The fan is on and there's probably going to be a lot of noise. It's really hot so and there's a lot of noise coming from the road. I'm like on, on the main road so there's like a lot of trucks and stuff. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully the Holy Spirit works this in your heart and you can actually understand what I'm trying to say. Now a lot of guys uh, even in the church they, they, there's a confusion because they don't understand the difference between mercy and grace right they, they, they understand they kind of like get the concept that you're supposed to go to jail for your sin you're supposed to go to you're supposed to be condemned to death and then Jesus trades paces with you puts on your dirty clothing you get to wear his righteous robes and he goes to jail and you go free but that is kind of like where that's mercy that's not grace that's mercy now listen to me because this is where people get confused okay number one if I'm fighting with my wife, and even if I have just reason to be angry at her, I have, I have true and just reason to be angry at her, and I don't beat her, that is not mercy, that is self-control. Understand? Self-control. That is not, when, when God does have the power to, to punish you and doesn't that is self-control all right now if he kill my son and we go to court and you are found guilty the evidence is clear you are guilty and now I am justified and correct in punishing you to death and I don't I let you go free after you've been found guilty after I have just cause or justification real lawful justification to flick the switch on the electric chair and I don't and I let you go and that is mercy but now grace is if I take you after I don't kill you even though I have the right to do so the right without contestation I have the right to do so I adopt you in love and treat you and love you as my own in my son's place that is grace now by no power of your own could you generate grace in me and nor can we do that in the Father. That is the thing about grace. It is 100% free. And as a celebration of grace, as the love of the understanding of what has been given to us, as our position as sons and daughters in the house of the Lord, we celebrate love that has been that we receive and we can extend it to others the grace that we receive is then what we can extend to others and that is where we are we are not just free we are adopted we are recognized as sons and daughters of the God Almighty and 
nothing, nothing that you do could have made God decide to give grace on you. There's no achievement, there's no little gold medal. I ran the race, yeah, here's my gold medal. No, there's nothing. There's, there's, you were condemned to death. He saved you and then in grace adopted you to be his son. Then there is, I don't know how much you think you could have done to deserve that, but there's nothing. There's nothing that you could offer. And a lot of people always say like, oh, it's your faith that saves you. It's, no, it's not. It's not your faith that saves you. It's God that saves you. You just have the realization of what, it, what He has done. The sun is always shining, but you will never get a tan unless you walk out of the house. You stay in your room, the sun is always shining. The sun is shot. You can see the sun is shining. But unless you walk out of the house and get in a position where the rays can strike you, that's it. But it's always there. It's always there. And, well, in this case, there's even a God that came and lift up the roof so the sun can get you. All right? Now, understand that. And uh, I love you guys. And please... Celebrate this if it if it resonates with you if you understand this and I hope the Holy Spirit opens it up for you So that you do understand it if you have questions, please ask it in the comments. I'll be happy happy to Answer everything that I can the best that I can all right um, Peace all right ciao ciao